In this video I'm talking about neon transformer values, loading and matching them to a sign. I will talk a bit more about the milliamps because it seems more people have questions about that. The necessary output voltage is a function of the total tubing length on the sign, the tube diameters and amount of electrodes. And you can get a footage chart from your transformer manufacturer or use tables of values for the volts per foot and per electrode pair. Here's the official German table with volts per meter and on the bottom I just calculated that over to volts per foot. The current, the milliamps, determine the brightness. And if we have a transformer that is dimmable, the thing that changes when I turn this knob is the output milliamps. The MA also determine the heat of the electrodes and tubes. So you need to be careful not to overheat your electrodes with too much MA because that shortens their life. And on the other hand, too little MA will take a longer time to heat up the tubes with mercury and get them bright, especially when it's cold. Every neon transformer has a higher output current when it drives a very short tube or is shorted and has a lower output current when it drives the maximum tube length. That is valid for electronic and magnetic transformers, although electronic usually have a smaller change. What varies is how manufacturers write that on the nameplates. In the US, the nameplate has the maximum milliamps. That means in case of a short circuit or a very short tube. And we can see that by just shorting out the transformer with a milliamp meter, 15 milliamp on the display, 15 on the nameplate. If we load the American transformer with the proper length of tubing, the current will be lower than what's on the nameplate, usually by a factor of around 1.3, 1.4, in Europe it's different, when you only have one value on the nameplate, it's the nominal current, that means at full tubing length. If we have a shorter tube or a short circuit, the current will be higher than what's on the plate. If you are lucky, the Euro transformer has both values on the nameplate, so you have all the information at once. The factor between nominal and max current can differ depending on the transformer's internal construction, here, for example, is a so-called constant current transformer with a very small drift across the voltage range. What's the same everywhere is that you can usually underload an electronic transformer with a short tubing length and it's not a problem. The electronic transformer will auto-adapt. The interesting surprise on magnetic or core and coil transformers is that you will actually overload a magnetic if you connect a too short set of tubes. That's because it will have more internal losses when it cannot drive the full voltage outwards. Here's two images of the same transformer. The first is running a full rated voltage load for one hour and the second photo is running a set of tubes that only needs half the voltage of the transformer for the same time. And here's a list of notes for you to remember or screenshot from this video. Now let's do a little fantasy project for the voltage just to try it once. Let's take this Amstel sign and I'm just using I made up estimated numbers now. So we are using the volts per foot table and we have a red tube Amstel 8mm, white tube light 9mm and the border tube yellow 10mm. So we need the highlighted values and we also need the 300 volt electrode drop for the red gas tube and the 250 for the blue gas indoor use tubes. For the Amstel tube we just need to take the measured length of 7 feet in the sample times 435 volts gives us the voltage requirement of the tube plus 300 volts for the electrode pair on red gas totals to 3345. For the light tube we are calculating with 9 millimeters and say it's 4 feet long so we get 780 volts voltage drop plus 250 for the electrodes blue gas indoor gives us 1030 and the border tube let's say has four feet as well but 10 millimeter so it needs a bit less plus the voltage of the electrodes 994 volts so here we get a total of almost 5400 volt a 6 kv transformer would be the typical pick for the sign